Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these sea bead earrings with castle shaped petals. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video in this way you help me so much. You might also share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook and Instagram pages, I will be so happy to see them. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now, without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 seed beads, turquoise, white, purple, iris, golden, and I'm also using here 8 beads in golden color. If you don't have 8 beads, you could replace them with regular golden seed beads, but I prefer to use this. I like the effect. Here I'm also using earring findings and jump rings. This is Neil Bond nylon thread. You could use Nymo as well, but use thicker thread for this work. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use also size 10 or 12, the smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers. I use them to attach my earring findings to my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 12 of those beautiful turquoise beads. Okay, I have 12 on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. Now I'm making one more knot. And I have this. And then I go through the following two beads. Then I want to take a turquoise bead, three white beads and a turquoise bead. I'm skipping the bead that is on my way and I'm going through the following. Again, turquoise, three whites and a turquoise. Skip the one that's on my way. Go through the following. Okay, again. I repeat the same thing until the end of this row. And in my last step, I go through the very first bit that I already have been through. Okay. Now I have this, guys. In my next step, I'm going through this turquoise and through this white bit. Then I take five white beads. I skip here the central one and I go through the following. Take just one iris and go through the next white that is on my way. Then again I take five white beads, skip the central one and go through the third white. And I take one iris. Go through the first of the three whites that are on my way. Take five. Skip the central. 
go through the following. Take an iris, go in the next white, and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding the last iris bead from this row. Now what I want to do is to go through these two white beads. Okay. Now I'm next to the bead that is sticking out the most. I take five purple beads, keep the central one. And I go through the following. I take golden iris golden. Go through the third white counting from the center. Then take five purple again. Skip the one that's on my way go through the following golden iris golden go through the third white counting from the center five purple skip the central one and i will continue these guys golden iris golden and five purple until the end of this row i'll do this off camera and i'll meet you here if you forgot how i'm doing it just rewind the video see this part and repeat it okay see you in a while okay my friends and here i am where i'm adding my last golden iris golden and i'm going here in the same place through the third white counting from the center and I pull. Then I'm doing a similar thing going through two beads in this direction. Taking five purple beads, skipping the central one that's on my way and I'm going through the following. Then I'm going to take five beads purple, golden, iris, golden and purple and what i do next is that i go through the second purple counting from the white part again i'm exiting through the middle one which is sticking out the most and i take five purple beads i skip here the central one and i go through the following Again, I take the same sequence, purple, golden, iris, golden and purple. Go through the second purple, counting from the white center. And I take five purple beads. Skip the central one here and go through the following. The same sequence. Go here in the second purple. Okay, my friends, and I'm going to continue this until the end of camera. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind and repeat this part here and I'll meet you. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I'm just adding my last five beads from this row. Now, what I want to do is go through these two purple beads. And I will start my final castle shaped petals row. In order to start it, I take 
three golden 11 o's and one golden 8 o. I slide those down just like this. Then I don't go through this final 8 o, but I go through the next 11 o. Okay, so when I pull, I have these guys. In my next step, I take two golden beads and I skip the central bead and go through the following. At this point, I take two golden 11 o's and one golden 8 o. Uh, don't forget that if you don't have 8 o, just add three goldens here. Three golden 11 o's here. Okay, and I slide those down. I skip this one, the last one. If it moves, just push it back like this. And I need two golden beads. And I go through the golden iris and golden after that. Adding these two. Okay, I have this. And I take three golden 11 o's and one golden 8 o. Slide those down. Skip this 8 o and go through this 11 o. And here I need just one golden 11 o and go through the purple. Okay, then I need three 11 o's, one 8 o. Slide those down. Skip the 11 o, skip the 8 o. Pull it. And take two 11 o's. Skip the central one and go through the following. Okay. Then I take two 11 o's and one 8 o. Slide those down. Skip the 8 o and go through the 11 o. And two golden 11 o's. Go through the three here. Okay. And if you follow these three steps that I showed you here until the end, uh, you will have the same thing. Okay, I'm showing again. When I'm climbing, I take three golden 11 o's and one golden 8 o. I slide those down. I skip the 8 o that's on my way and I go through the following 11 o. If it goes away, just push it here to the center. Okay, like this. Here at this point you need only one 11 o. And go here through the purple which is next to the central one. Or if you count from the center it is one, two, three, four, four purples. Then at the top I need three 11 o's and one 8 o. Again slide those down. Again, skip the 8 o and go through the following 11 o. Push it. And take two. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Okay. My next castle will be ready soon. 
Okay, and I take two golden 11 o's and one golden 8 o. Slide. Skip the 8 o. Pull it. Like this. And take two. Okay, my friends, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. If you forget how I'm doing it, just uh, rewind the video from here and repeat all of those parts here, here and here, and I'll meet you for the last step. Okay, my friends, I hope you did it up to here. If not, just rewind the video as I mentioned and repeat, repeat, repeat. And now I'm here at my last step where I need three golden 11 o's and one golden 8 o. I'm, I'm sliding these down. I'm skipping the 8 o and pulling. And I'm taking just one more golden bead. And then I go in this purple which is the fourth one, counting from the white part, okay? Then what I want to do, guys, before I finish my work is an additional step. I want to go through the edges of my work one more time. It's not obligatory, but it will make your edges stay in a better shape. So if you want, you are advised to do this, okay? Of course, I will do this off camera. No need to watch me how I'm doing it all the time. Okay? And when I'm ready, I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I just reinforced my last petal. And now what I want to do is go through some beads here, make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I'm choosing a place between two beads and I'm making here a loop. I'm going once or even twice through this loop I've made, I'm pulling. Then I'm going through some beads in this direction. And I'm cutting this tail thread. By the way, if you want, you could make several more knots and then cut it. Now, guys, it is time to add my earring finding. First, I will take one of my jump rings and I will open them up. Open it up. Then I go through one of those ato beads and I will take my earring finding, okay? After that, I'm squeezing back just like this. And my earring is ready. Okay, guys, and now my flower seed beads earrings with castle shaped petals are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't also like share and comment in this way you help me so much if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page to see it and a lot of work goes in this video so you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.